हेलो एवरी वन वी वेलकम टू अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ कॉलेज दुनिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड सो टुडे वी हैव मिस्टर संजीव रासा ही इज द डीन अकेडमिक्स एट इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट रायपुर वी वेलकम यू सर थैंक यू एंड आई हैव थ्री क्वेश्चन माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन बी यू हैव हैड की पोजीशन एट एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट थ्रू ऑफ योर प्रोफेशनल करियर so what keeps you connect with the education sector and how has your experience been so far with i am right okay uh, i just completed my 32 years uh, in academics uh, after my mba it's uh, directly i got into academics and uh, for last 10 years i am there at i am raipur first june i completed 10 years over here at i am raipur also uh, for 3 and 1/2 years i have been academic over there uh it was definitely my interest my inclination to get into academics uh that's what exactly brought brought me over this uh um, into academics and very importantly it sustained me over there uh, for last good time right that is great so being the dean of i am like what are your roles and responsibilities towards the students as well as the development of the whole team because since you have been here for, for a very long time now and uh, what what are your roles here with Uh, see let me share the moment i joined this campus in 2012 uh, that was the time i took over as a chairman of placements uh, later i got into a uh, chairman of pgp program so the two legs of any institution placement as well as the pgp program i have worked over there over the period of time and then the third leg which is essentially revenue generating leg that is Uh, executive education and consulting so i worked in last 3 uh, 10 years into all the major 3 uh, profiles uh, for last 3 and 1/2 years nearly i am into dean academics so essentially there are two deans across all ims dean academics and dean planning but at i am raipur we happen to because it, it was we were still into the growth stage so we worked over there with dean academics position uh wherein strictly if you see the role is to see that the processes and systems for academics are sustained over the period of time they are established they are created and they are actually monitored regularly with respect to quality importantly now uh if you uh ask me conventionally what is the role the role uh, is um uh, related to uh, my pgp program which is a fellowship uh, the flagship program then it's related to the executive education programs also we have emba and other programs and third very importantly our doctoral and executive doctor programs also so if you see over there then the role is definitely starting with the um, uh, admissions um, getting and getting into the admissions role uh, how the admission process exactly happen and how to improve that quality of intake the second important is the systems and processes within the institution also and more specifically wherein we talk of inputs uh, for that given to the students the scholars so that they are really worth getting out of the campus portals and the third definitely definitely goes over there with respect to uh, as i told you some tertiary roles also come uh, which talks of faculty faculty hiring faculty recruitment and building uh, that ecosystem or environment wherein uh, we are able to not only attract the best of the faculty but to retain the faculty also so mm-hmm. this is what exactly it happened uh, just a second uh, additional i want to share because we didn't have much uh, with respect to a specific uh, position called as dean planning and research so more or less the role on dean planning and research also somewhere came down on dean academics also so far now uh, after 12 years of our existence and we have moved into the new 203 acres campus and you must have seen the beautiful campus also mm-hmm. and we are absolutely now into the bigger uh, plan for expansion so definitely it warrants that there would be some part uh, of the uh, this role to be moved into a specific role which would be coordinated by a specific person uh, uh, independently so this is how my journey as a d and as dean academy but before what were the antecedents happened to be here at ipad that that was a Was like a great journey for you at time like that. So uh, I just wanted to know how you said here is about the P program. Apart from the regular PGP program, there there are E PGP program. There is a doctorate or we call as a fellowship program here. So how do you plan in the marketing administration of uh, I am like for as a dean? Uh, the first thing I want to really put forth uh, a fact is that the institution is more or less a faculty driven, faculty cohort driven. some parts of the activities are students driven so as a as such the dean is not specific, only the one who is 
uh, doing all these roles over there. We happen to have a very vibrant uh, uh, research committee headed by a chairman research. We happen to have a FPM committee, fellow programs committee, and again um, headed by a very senior professor over there into research. Same is the case. We have PGP programs and EPGP e-learning programs, etc. So we have the different committees which work, which deliberate, um, even the conception of the thoughts as to whether we should be going into the programs or getting into the market for this particular product or not. This is one case. And then how to smoothly run that program, how to build up the parts and participants over there with respect to forming this particular program or any program which is compatible which is very much at par with any of the best qualities rather we position ourselves more focused beyond at par also at times so this is there so uh, this is how we strategize all these things definitely as as a dean i have to see to it that we we are we are time pertinent we are a market pertinent we are relevant to the society what exactly we are doing so in this process we have been doing lot of addendums and modifications vinifications and magnifications into the course, into the durations, into even pedagogical perspectives related to the course and the delivery. So we have been doing it. Uh, very positive uh, substantiation I can give to you is, uh, even before pandemic had happened, most of India went um, online with the dawn of pandemic, but we were much ahead of it. So even before pandemic, we already had three technology partners at that point of time, and we had already started short-term certificate courses, three months courses, six months courses, etc. We happened to have started our GMP program, general management program, which was one year program, much before pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, on the, uh, the fact remains that nearly more than half of that particular program was already over when pandemic happened. So my first immersion of the GMP students had already happened. They had already visited the campus. Unfortunately, we could not bring them for the second leg of immersion. So that, that that's what exactly is there. So we, 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 and this is all what exactly happens is, uh, uh, wherein we all sit, we deliberate, we uh, we discuss, we debate, and um, you uh, you would be perhaps surprised to see that there have been many stances wherein the head of the institution or me as a dean, we would look forward to launching a new program, but immediately um, uh, when it is put into the deliberate uh, deliberations for academic council or a faculty council or any of the committees, and if they find that things are not really worth or the time is not ripe enough or it's too very late. We have taken decisions not to run those programs. So it is it is absolutely a sense of collaboration. So uh, and uh, every every committee that runs over there, uh, they have the power and they have the requisite autonomy and authority to work on that.